Hello, my dear friends. My name is Paul, and my radio amateur call sign is Oscar Mike Zero Echo Tango. Look at this beauty what I have got today from England, made by David Perry, who made for me this special stand for my Malaite DSP2. Beautiful beautiful stand which is also multifunction stand this is a 3d printed project and david is designer of this beautiful stand so part of this video will be about this stand i would like to show you how this stand actually looks like how it works and I would uh, turn on this beautiful receiver, which is the Malaite DSP2 from Radio Ditti, which has wonderful, wonderful receive capabilities and extra good uh, noise reduction in this receiver. This is, I think, the best receiver I have ever had in my hands. I mean, a portable receiver. So, first uh, let me show you also the stand and also my antenna, by the way. I'm going to use the MC20 portable mag loop, which is also for transmit, not just for receive, okay? So, but I mainly use this antenna when I'm testing some receivers and so on. Of course, this is my production and the link for these two things you will find down in the video description. So I already put the link for this stand down in the video description. You can check that out. And there is the link for a Facebook group, uh, which David just um, uh, made. There are some pictures, some possibilities you can do with this stand and how it works. Uh, there are some other colors can be uh, choosed if you order this stand and um, maybe some other accessories like this <laughs> very nice knob. As you can see I'm not using the standard knobs uh, from the factory if I were using, then this um, knob would fit perfectly uh, on top of it. So it's a bigger one, so it's better for tuning. Next, we have some accessories for this stand, what I would like to show you now. Here on top of the receiver, you can see that I have connected two antennas. This is the high Z antenna, just a, just a regular whip antenna, which I think comes with this receiver. This is not exactly one, but um, similar one. And adapter uh, for uh, SMA and B and C connection. There are some kind of rails on the sides of the radio. And those rails are pretty smart, actually because you can use them for another accessories. Something like this locking system, you see? Here you can find this little rod on each accessories, like those sockets. You see, beautiful, very good idea. And you can just, you can just slide them into those rails and you can use it for, I don't know, for antenna, for example, or you can install here the BNC socket with nut, you know, you know those sockets or the pigtail, a coaxial cable coming to the BNC socket. You can mount it here and uh, use it as a support for the antenna because maybe too much force if you are using a um, bigger vertical which is pretty heavy too much uh, mm, weight of the antenna could maybe damage 
the SMAs. So David actually designed these two, or they are actually four, four of them, as you can see on the other side as well. So he designed them for such things, okay? So if you put this B and C socket down there and you have this bigger antenna up there, you can, you can use it as a support, all right? Or maybe you can use it for some other stuff. So this is the locking system. You see there is a hole for the LED, which is in the middle. This is the indication if uh, is the high Z or 50 ohm socket in use. And at the same time, if you use these rails and this locking system, you can actually lock this radio in the chassis of this stand, okay? I think it's a very, very good idea. And the radio will not fall off from this socket or from the stand. So you have seen these rails on the sides. Same, same here. You can also adjust the height of them. So you can go down, down there or up there. All right. And in my case, when I'm using this locking system, and if I want to use this bigger adapter, there is too small hole for it, okay? I can tighten it, but not much. And therefore, there is no good connection. Um, maybe David will create also another kind of this locking system, because I find this locking system very practical especially when you use this stand for a portable use. So in this case, I need to use a different kind, a smaller. All right, and now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. The second is for the high Z antenna. Okay, so I don't see any problem with it. So I can use this antenna as well. All right. Um, you don't need to remove antennas or adapters from this stand as it is removable from the rail. If you remove the radio from it. Okay, you see? So, here you have a stand, and here is this locking system. It's a very, very smart. Fine. All right, everything is from the 3D printed plastic, so I, th it's, I feel it's like pretty sturdy. Uh, you can see the walls are pretty thick. This is really thick and pretty sturdy. So I'm not worried that this will break so easy. Next advantage is this multifunction holder on the back. You see, so you can see your belt for it and you can take it when you are hiking or you can even use the belt on your backpack. All right. Look at this beautiful thing, beautiful thing. So you can use it vertically or horizontally. Very nice. And that's the desk stand. You see, I have a call sign over here, OM0ET, and this logo. Very nice, and thank you, David, if you are watching this video. Really nice. So just put this stand 
on the desk. You see the legs or the rubber, the rubber legs or something like that. So it's, it is not sliding on uh, the desk, which is pretty cool. And you just put this upper side to the lower side and lock it like this. Okay, and you have completed stand for the Malaite DSP2 receiver. Absolutely perfect, very practical thing. And I was literally waiting for something like that because this radio is pretty heavy actually. And um, if you stand this radio or if you put this radio just on the desk, it's not so stable, all right? You see that it, it can fall very easily on the desk. And that was the reason why I was waiting for such a beautiful stand. Okay, in my case, I don't need for now these uh, little things. You can see that in detail. It's pretty well made. I don't need them now, but you just see that there is a possibility to use something like that. So I will leave this locking system on top. This is all what I need right now, right? Again, the link for this 3D printed project you will find already down in the video description. There is a Facebook group about this project. So if you have any more questions uh, regarding this stand, please leave a comment down in the chat or in the comment section. So here I have a pretty good access to this main switch, you see. So I can very easily to switch it on. There is a good access to the standby button and also USB-C charging port and also audio socket. Everything is open and ready to use. Also the space for the speaker is widely open, so it should be fine. On the left side there is nothing much to see. And also the same on the upper side. Cool, so... Okie dokie, so let's go. <laughs> Turn it on. This is a standby button, right? Currently I'm listening via the high Z antenna over here. And you can see also the, the light from the LED. That's a really good idea. You can see the LED from top, but also from the front because there is a gap printed in the middle. That's really cool idea. That's really good. So the, the blue light is high Z. If I change it in the radio here, now you can see 50 ohm. You see it's green right now. Select, now it's blue. And now it's green. So I will leave it on the green because I need 50 ohm as I'm going to use my Maglub antenna. 
Uh, the receiver is very quiet, actually. I'm convinced from hearing you last over there that Now I'm tuning my antenna. Uh, this is also very important, especially when you are uh, using Maglu. So I'm looking for a noise peak on the receiver, which you can see on the noise floor. You see how it's increasing. Now it is tuned to the band. You can see how is it moving from the sides. Now it's on the right side and now it's coming down to the left side and back to the right side. And this is how the Maglux works. You can see the CW decoder as well. The signal is not very strong. Noise reduction on. So let me see if it decodes. Echo 2, whiskey radio, tango maybe. Yeah. Or Victor radio tango. Ah, French station. This frequency is Russian free banders, similar to the CB band. Noise reduction on and off on Wow, that was really loud. Yeah, definitely like, share, subscribe. This is <laughs> a big help to this channel, of course. Thank you. Thank you so much guys for watching and uh, hope to see you again next time. 73. This is Paul, Oscar Mike Zero Eco Tango. Pavel Elijena, prijom.